Hello everyone, and welcome back for more FTL. As you may recall, we were playing on hard mode, and we had gotten to... Where had we gotten to? Sector 3, I think. Yes, yeah, Sector 3. Uh, into an uncharted nebula. And I hadn't realized this before, but we, you know, we only have one shield. And normally by Sector 3, you really want to have two. So that's going to be my, my main goal for right now. Hopefully we won't die before then. No promises. Alright, so, we have a decision already. A heavily damaged Federation ship is hiding in the nebula at this beacon. Before you have time to make contact with them, they fade into the nebula. Do we attempt to follow them and help them? Or do we keep our position because they can handle themselves? One or two? And, uh, already we have reached a majority vote of number one. Attempt to follow and help them. You get lucky and find them floating not too deep into the nebula. Thrilled to be found by friendlies, they come on board and abandon their wrecked ship. So we get, uh, we get Phillips, who... He has a shield icon next to him. Which m apparently means that he has... Already, he already has a level 1 in shields or something like that, so, hey, this is perfect for us. We can go ahead and have better shields, maybe not level up shields, but better shields. So, uh, th this is good. Our new crew member, Phillips, is a uh, level- we should save this position, actually. Uh, our crew member, Phillips, is uh, apparently a, a very skilled shieldsman. So, oh, we spot a rebel ship in the nebula ahead and stay off their radar. Do we try to engage? Do we stay hidden or do we prepare to chase them? Number one or number two. They, they appear to be uh, trying to navigate this nebula themselves. They are rebels, those dirty rebels. Do we try to, do we try to chase them? fight them or do we just uh, or do we just try to stay hidden they do have two shields that could be an issue but we have a majority vote of one so we, we try and stay out of sight we don't think they saw us so we can't do anything to them they appear to uh they appear to have, they probably would have been pretty difficult, because they have two shields, they have drones, and they have weapons. I mean, of course they have weapons, but they have two weapons, as you can see. You can actually tell. Um, looks like a laser and maybe missiles? I'm not sure what that is. So that would be, uh, that would have been a difficult fight. You nervously glance out of the windows, but the only thing to greet you is more clouds and silence. So nothing has happened here. There's a store, but I don't think that's going to help us right now. <clears throat> we really need more parts, more spare parts, uh, so that we can, uh, so that we can get more, get better shields. Oh. Your ship emerges uh, quite far away from the beacon. You see a rebel ship waiting nearby, undoubtedly stationed to look for you. Do we, number one, attack the ship, or number two, attempt to remain concealed? They, they have two weapons. They have drones, or, or, or whatever, yeah, drones. But they only have one shield. Oh, looks like we already have a majority vote, or we have everybody voting. A unanimous vote of our three, usual three viewers here. Uh, saying to attack the ship. They look like easy prey. Is what I'm getting out of this. I would like to disable their shields, even though they don't have much, before I go for their weapons. Now... Already they have done some damage to our O2. 
I wouldn't worry too much about the sensors right now. The O2 will eventually be a problem. But I might hold off on that for a bit. Actually, let's go ahead and fix that. Hmm. We seem to be having some difficulty getting through their shields. They only have one, but it seems to be pretty strong. Even our missiles can't seem to get through. Oh, it's powering up its FTL. We've used all of our missiles on their shields. All of our missiles have been stopped by their shields. Oh, they have a shield charging drone. Well, that does explain it. Maybe we should go for... No. They, they've gotten away. We used all of our missiles, and they got away. So, that didn't go so well. But we didn't die, and we didn't get hurt that bad. In general, this trip hasn't gone so well for us. We still need more parts. I, I'd be afraid to go to the next sector uh, without having better shields. So I think we're going to take the, the long way. Your crew are constantly looking out, looking, yeah, constantly looking out the windows, checking for hostiles. They jump at every creak and moan. The tension is almost palpable, but nothing happens. Go left. Well, we can go left. I really would prefer not to, um, because the uh, rebels will close in on us, and there's not too much to see. I guess we could go down here. But I kind of don't want to stay in the sector for too long, as this sector is especially difficult on our on us because it's a nebula. A, a pirate ship arrives shortly after you. Judging from the fact that it is attempted to, attempting to avoid your ship, you assume that it's a, a smuggler trying to stay away from beacons. Do we number one attack the pirate, or number two ignore the ship? Hmm. Well. Every single time we move, even if it's to a node we've already been to, the uh, the rebels advance. Looks like we've already got a majority vote of no of number one, attack the pirate. So you power up your weapon. We power up our weapons and move in to engage these dirty pirates. We'll, we'll have to we'll have to pay. Although I think we're probably more interested in getting pirates. We don't have anything but our burst laser. But I think uh, we should just go for their shield. We want to keep their shield down. We probably want to keep their weapons down as well, but we don't have anything but um, our burst laser right now. Uh oh. Alright. Um, and they have disabled our weapons. And then our shields. They are really wreaking havoc on, on our ship right now because of their EMP. First laser needs to be powered up, powered up again. Let's try taking out their weapons. Their shields are back up. We're having some serious trouble due to their lasers. Oh. And now I can't get enough power. Something... Hmm. Something is wrong. I should have repaired that a while ago.
Ah, there we go. Need to take out their weapons because they are doing some serious damage to our ship. Oh, they hail us and they, they realize that they are no match for us. If, if we let them go, they'll make it worth our while. We can get an ion charger from them and some spare parts and missiles, or we can ignore their pleas and attack. Well, chat, what would you what would you like to do? Do we accept their offer? They're, they're offering us an ion charger that seems to be the weapon that they're using to disable our shields. Or we can ignore their pleas and attack. Okay, so it looks like we're going with one. We're accepting their offer, letting them live in exchange for an ion charger. Which is, by the way, an amazing thing to have right now, for us especially. And now that we have 50 parts, we can go ahead and power up our shields. Before we can really use them in this sector, we will need uh, we will need more power bars. But we can see what they look like. Well, we still do have two. We could still have our burst laser, but we couldn't have that. Uh, we couldn't have Artemis or the charge ion powered up at the same time. <laughs> Instagib plays FTL. That would be interesting. So, we got hurt severely during that, but we did manage to get better shields and a new weapon. A pretty good weapon. So, let's, uh, let's go to an another location here. It appears an automated rebel scout can see us. It starts to power up its FTL drive. If it gets away, it will no doubt warn the fleet of our position. That will make the, uh, the rebels approach more quickly. So we should uh, we should try to take it out. Let's see. So let's uh, go for it. It's... That is an issue. Atreyu is not in his usual position, and that is making things harder. They can't seem to make it through our shields. Go ahead and take out their engine so they can't escape. Then taking out their shields would probably be a good plan as well. They're mostly fighting us with their drones. And then let's power down Artemis, because I don't want to waste my last missile. Let's just continue attacking their, their field drive so they can't get away. Alright, the ship breaks apart and you feel relief in the knowledge that you will hopefully be one step ahead of the fleet. So, we got some fuel, we got some parts, and we got missiles. And I need to make sure because I keep forgetting, nothing needs repairing. Good. And we cannot quite afford another power bar, and uh, we really need, what we really need is to repair a bit. So let's let's do that. Proposed mutually beneficial exchange of properties. Hmm. Oh, uh, fire. No, I can't. We can't afford any of that. Uh, Anti-personnel drone would be pretty nice, but we can't afford that either. Um. We have nothing that we would like to sell. I would say. What we want right now is to fix up our ship. 
It's in the green. I don't really know how much I want to fix up the ship, but we probably need a couple of, well, no, we have a couple of missiles. I'd say we're, eh, we could probably use one more at least. And then maybe fix up this one. I kinda hate to use all our parts because we'll probably need more very soon. We will, I would like to have more power, more system power. Oh, you mean crew. Oh yeah, Liu Jun is not doing so well. Liu Jun, I don't know if that's actually how you pronounce that. But, now he's fine. This long-range beacon is almost hidden within a nebula. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector, which it is. So, let's see. Should we go to the next sector? Eh, let's let's see what this is. I would say, since the stuff in the next sector is probably going to be a lot harder. I would guess. An advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed um, near a small rebel space station. However, without functioning sensors, it is impossible to tell what is inside. Do we attack the automated ship to get to the station, or do we avoid provoking the ship? We have no idea what is inside. Looks tough. Uh, it does have two shields. It has two shields. Uh, it has and has drones as well. Uh, we do have a new weapon. We could try that. Um, but doing so would require us to depower something. Okay. Now the reason we haven't been using our new weapon is because there's not enough system power. As you can see, we only have one bar and it requires two. But we can depower our, our healing station because we're not using it right now. Oh, that's right, we can't. Because there's not enough power to, to the weapon system. We have to upgrade our weapon systems before we can do that. So, um, hmm, what we could do, and this is a terrible idea, is we could depower that, and we could have Artemis for one or two shots, we could do this. We could use our charge ion on its shields, and then use the Artemis on its, uh, on its weapons. We missed, which doesn't seem like a good thing at all. But, um, there we go, maybe this one will work. Yes, we are, yeah, Artemis pierces shield, so I guess it doesn't actually make any difference. Might be, might actually be better to use that on weapons. Also, probably better not to use this at all, actually. Probably better to switch to the burst laser for now, and then start attacking the shields. Since the shield, since one of the shields has been deactivated, oh, now it's activating the other one. So that didn't, that plan didn't work. I thought it would, but apparently not. We can't get through that shield, it looks like. We'll have to use one missile on the shields, probably, in order to get this to work. Oh, okay. I did manage to damage the shields that way. I don't want to lose all of our missiles. But if I just keep attacking their shields, should eventually be able to destroy them without too much trouble. Did 
doing quite a bit of damage to our systems, but in general, it's not too bad. They, they did some damage to our ship, but um, in general, it seems like... Seems like we've... Uh, oh, hello. We have found an ion stunner. So we got a new weapon. I'm not exactly sure what that does, but it sounds amazing. So let's go ahead and repair our systems here. And let's take a look at what the ion stunner does. The uh, ion weapons can disable systems without causing hull damage. The, this ion weapon stuns, uh, stuns crew inside the room for five seconds. So, whereas the ion charger can uh, can attack the systems, looks like the ion stunner can not only disable systems, but can also cause crew to be inactive. Not very useful without knowing where the crew is in the ship, but could be useful uh, for other purposes, I suppose still doesn't seem that useful to us. Now, I would say we should go ahead and in increase our weapon control systems, um, since we have the parts now, so that we can use multiple weapons at a time. Now let's wait for our repairs to finish, and then we'll leave the sector. Actually, let's not leave the sector just yet. Let's go to the store first. Because I want to repair the ship. We could sell one or more systems for enough parts to fix up the ship. Now, what systems do we want? This only requires one power. Um, one power bar, which I didn't realize that. Um, it doesn't seem as useful in general for us right now, but it may be useful later. Now, I'm, I'm not exactly sure what we could do as far as uh, how we could go about, like what we, what we should sell. Especially not having tried the ion stunner or the charge ion um, very much at all. Um, and having just gotten more power to our uh, to our weapon systems, not exactly sure what the best choice would be. I've gotten us back up to the green in in the you know back up to two thirds of our hull. Ion ion weapons are fun, but you don't need two of them. That's a good point. There's not really much point in having two of them. Looks like this one has a shorter charge time. Um, hmm, it requires more power, but that's not too much of an issue. Um, looks like the Ion Stunner just doesn't seem that useful. Especially since it only stuns for five seconds. I, I think it's... I think I'm gonna sell this one. And with that... We can repair the ship a bit more. I think I'm going to spend everything on fixing up the ship this time, actually. And now, let's go to the next sector. Now, which one do you want to go to, chat? Do you want to go to the Slug Home Nebula? Or rock controlled. It just it just says rock controlled. It doesn't say anything. I guess it's a war zone. Yeah, it's a hostile territory. That is a uh, that is rock controlled. So do we go to a hostile territory or a nebula? The nebula, as as you've seen, has uh, wreaks some amount of havoc on our systems. Um, and the uh, hostile territory, I imagine, would have us fight a lot. Um, 
I don't really know though. I don't. Uh, I haven't played this game too much. As you may have noticed, this is the only ship I have. I haven't unlocked any of the others. All right. All right. So looks like we have. We're having some difficulty deciding, and I do have a coin with me this time. Uh, so let's say heads is for the slug home yet. No, yeah, slug home nebula, and tails is for rock controlled territory. All right, let's let's do this. It came up tails. We're going to the rock controlled hostile territory. I can't show it to you, but I got tails. The rock people are a powerful and proud race. Not unheard of to have a peaceful journey through through their lands, but don't count on it. Alright, now it is 10 o'clock, so as fun as it would be to explore this new territory, we have, it appears we've run out of time. So, I will, oh, heal a tray you, alright, well, let's go ahead and start that. I hope the lag isn't too bad, but if it's, if it's alright, then I think, uh, we're gonna move on to, uh, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. And people are saying that there is lag. We, we can, we can try some more things, or we can move to Hitbox, but anyway, let's, let's just move on for now. Uh, it's time to end this video for sure. So, I hope you've enjoyed FTL, and I will, uh, I have as always, and I hope to, uh, you know, I hope you'll stick with me and watch some Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. So I'll see you in just a few minutes.